This video is going to show the effect of a movement of the demand curve for a product due to an increase or a decrease in demand. If you're not sure about supply, demand or equilibrium, you should watch the videos on those topics. The demand curve is downward sloping and this is because as the price of a product increases, people will demand less. Sometimes this demand curve will actually move to the right or to the left and we're going to look at some reasons why that might happen. At the moment, the price of this product is P1, and at P1, people will demand Q1 of this product. If there was a change in the price, we would move up and down this demand curve, and the quantity demanded would change. If, however, there was a change in something other than the price, the demand curve might actually move. A good example of this would be if there was an increase in the size of the population. When the population increases, there will be more people buying this product, at that price level. So now at P1, instead of demanding Q1, the population will demand Q2 of this product. This would happen across all of the price levels and as a result we would end up with a new demand curve. And we'll call this demand curve D2. So an increase in the population is an example of a factor that will cause the demand curve to increase from D1 to D2. There are many things that could cause this increase in demand. We've just seen the effect, uh, one of those things is an increase in population. Another example could be an increase in income. If people's incomes are higher, they'll demand more of that product at the same price because they have more money to spend. Another example might be if there was an increase in the price of a substitute. If this was the market for margarine and the price of butter increased, People would buy less butter and more margarine, so the increase in the price of the substitute product causes an increase in demand. In the same way, a decrease in the price of a complement could also lead to an increase in demand. If this was the market for iPhone covers and the price of the iPhone fell, more people would buy iPhones and as a result, more people would demand phone covers. And This would cause the demand curve to increase from D1 to D2. We're now going to look at the effect of this increase in demand on equilibrium price and quantity. The interaction of supply and demand have given us an equilibrium price of P1 and Q1. As a result of one of those changes we spoke about, the demand curve has increased from D1 to D2. The effect of this is that the equilibrium price and quantity now changes. The quantity demanded and the price uh, that is paid are both going to increase. Because pe more people want the product, businesses are able to increase the price from P1 to P2 and they're able to sell more of the product. So the quantity demanded, the quantity sold goes from Q1 to Q2. Originally, the revenue that businesses in this industry would have received, the price times the quantity, would have been indicated by this yellow area. The increase in the price and the quantity, however, leads to an increase in revenue, moving from that first little yellow box to this much larger yellow box. In the same way that demand could increase, demand could also fall. For example, if there was a decrease in, uh, in incomes, or if the price of a substitute decreased, people would demand less of this product. Those decreases in demand will lead to a new demand curve. And again, our demand curve will move from D1 to D2, shifting to the left. The original equilibrium point of P1Q1 will now move to here. The change in the demand curve will lead to a decrease in the price and a decrease in the quantity that is uh, bought and sold. As a result, business revenue will also fall. So originally, we would have this entire box as business revenue. But as a result of the decrease in demand, 
The new revenue will be this smaller area. It's important to know how demand can increase and decrease and the effect of this on equilibrium, price and quantity. And this will happen in markets for all kinds of products, uh, including the supply and demand for currency and the supply and demand for labour.